I was in a dark place from my 16 year career in the Australian Army. My experience of accessing the mental health services here have been the post-traumatic stress disorder course where it's helped me improve my pathways back to recovery. The $15 million Jamie Larkham Centre is a huge commitment to our veteran community and their families. This is about building a contemporary model of care that will assist them as they have a lifelong journey of mental health wellness across their life. In developing the model of care, the first step was to examine our current model of care, look at the services that we're currently providing and evaluate their effectiveness. Also then looking wider afield at models of care for similar services around the world and what therapies, what processes they're using and what might fit with us here in our demographics here in Adelaide. In the first instance, we're going to be able to deliver what we deliver now in a, in a very new purpose-built uh, contemporary unit and that then we will be able to really look at the needs of the younger and contemporary veterans and build in the programs that they require. The services will be based around a 24 bed inpatient unit um, which will be providing services for people with a wi wide range of psychiatric illnesses particularly around PTSD, depression and other comorbidities. Um, it will provide an outpatient service and what we call ambulatory care following people up in the community the benefits of the Glenside site are that it's centrally located, easy to access, other services co-located including drug and alcohol services, rural and remote services, so there's a great way of, um, there's a great opportunity to integrate the Veterans Precinct with some of the other services on site. The fact that there are individual bedrooms and a lot more uh, small lounge areas means that there's a lot more private space for people to retreat when they're feeling overstimulated or they need to just some quiet time. It's also a much more family friendly environment and as we all know mental health involves more than just the individual so having more of those family spaces means that you can bring in the family into the care of the patient and create more of a, a care plan including them. There will be new models of care including things like um, canine therapy, in other words uh, professionally trained dogs who are specialising in certain conditions like PTSD. Um, tai Chi, relaxation, art therapy and particularly a gymnasium which will help people deal with their emotional stress through physical means. You know, it's going to become a central hub for the best veterans mental health service possibly in Australia. We're deploying a lot of uh, Australian Defence Force personnel. We must ensure that we get this right to take care of them when they come home.